Greetings. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for the opportunity to come your way and spend a few moments with you in God's Word and in prayer. This week, we are reminding ourselves of what the Lord has taught us in His Word on how to live worry-free, how to roll our cares, our burdens on the Lord. And we've talked about the fact that we can unburden through prayer, that as we pray, we can transfer the things that weigh heavy on us, we can transfer it onto the Lord. We pray, we make supplication, and we give thanks. And then as we roll our cares on Him, His peace comes in and covers our heart and mind. Today, we want to remind ourselves of one more instruction the Lord has given to us in Isaiah 26 in verse 3. It says, You will keep Him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you, because He trusts in you. You will keep him in perfect peace. It's a double word, shalom, shalom, that, that the peace of God will so cover us. But this is possible when we keep our mind on the Lord, on who he is. Or in other words, there in Psalm 112, verse 7, along the same lines, it says, he, this is a righteous man, will not be afraid of evil tidings. He'll not be afraid of bad news. His heart is steadfast. His heart is settled, steady, won't be shaken. How is it possible? He's trusting in the Lord. So here's a second way. A second thing you and I can do to roll our cares on the Lord and be worry-free in the midst of all that is happening. It says, set your mind on Him or trust in Him, who He is. So when uh, your mind is troubled by certain things, certain matters, sometimes it's the news that comes to you, unexpected news or not good news comes to you. What do you do? Just remind yourself of who God is. You're putting your mind on Him. When you have your mind on something, you're thinking about that thing. So when you mind, have your mind on Him, on the Lord, you're thinking about Him, who He is, while you're getting all this news or all these things that are around you. So when there's a situation of financial need, put your mind on Him, Jehovah, Jehra. When there is news about illness and sickness, put your mind on Him, Jehovah, Rapha, the Lord, my healer. When there is news about, you know, trouble, Put your mind on Him. Jehovah Nisi, the Lord will give me victory in this situation. And when you and I do that, when we put our mind on Him, when we trust in who He is, the Bible says, God will keep us in perfect peace. So instead of letting your mind be troubled and occupied by the bad news or the situation causes worry, it says, put your mind on the Lord. Settle your mind on Him. Think about Him. And that will cause you and me to be in perfect peace. And God will bring us through. We can journey through life worry-free. So try it today. Do it today. In any situation, put your mind on Him. Let's pray. Father, this moment, we put our minds on You who you are, what you can do, what you have promised, the fact that you are for us and you can handle things on our behalf. We thank you for your perfect peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.